<laughs> What's up, baby? How's the New Year's resolution going? It's all there before me. Have I changed? Different eyes. Different ears. An altered alertness. Aware. More so than ever before. When came the sudden evolution? Regardless of pace, it's here now. Not as a flash, not short term, but as part of my being for every step of this journey. Hope a little bit of the most people, because it's a really weird time of year right now where I feel like I got the whole year, which I do in front of me to complete my goals. I got, I got an endless amount of time in front of me. And right now it's real easy to get comfortable. I'm comfortable, I'm already chilling. I'm in school, uh, kind of back in the routine. I feel like a lot of people misuse the word comfortable because like comfortable can be a good thing. I can be, I'm in a house, I'm comfortable, I'm comfy. So maybe try and see it as like complacent or stationary. Cause I can guarantee you September's gonna hit and I'm gonna be telling myself the same thing. Oh yeah, I got so much time left. Like it's not even close to the new year. And then before you know it, I'm gonna be in the same spot that I am right now in the next year. And so recently I've kind of just been catching myself fall for this trap where I project myself into the future being like, oh, I'm gonna meet this goal. I'm gonna have this done. I'm gonna have all this completed. And then I wake up two days from when I last had that thought and I haven't completed that stuff yet. And all of a sudden I'm a failure. All of a sudden, oh, can I, can I really meet those goals? Can I really do that kind of stuff? Because I haven't done it already. I haven't met that kind of stuff yet. So it's really easy to fantasize about these goals to kind of be stuck in your head and be like, yeah, that's what I want. But then you forget to do all the work that is involved to get there. And even easier to just be comfortable with yourself and not want to grow. With pretty much all of my past New Year's resolution, it's super comfy to stay in my head and tell myself, oh yeah, this is exactly what I want. This is how I want to live my life. This is what I want to accomplish this year. <laughs> Something that kind of just smacked me back into place was seeing my friend's post on Facebook. And the whole purpose of the post was just reinforcing the need to take action. And something that I took away from the post was something that he said at the end, your actions will dictate your results. Ooh, baby. That was my boy, Greg. Go show him some love. He's been doing some really great stuff for himself and the people around him. And I really respect what he's been doing and what he's been able to accomplish. So thank you for motivating me and those around you. And from that, I really encourage you to try and go do something uncomfortable. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how small, big, whatever it might be. Because I can guarantee you on the days where I'm undisciplined or lazy or just really unmotivated to do anything are the days that I'm the most comfortable. I've been in my bed for the last three hours scrolling my phone, not even watching anything, just scrolling for the entire day. I'll just be stuck inside my head telling myself, wow, what a waste of a day. And honestly, I usually feel that way because I haven't been productive at all, like physically, emotionally, mentally, like just nothing has happened that day. But on the days that I am active or I am creative or I am productive, it's usually because I'm trying to force myself to do something I'm not comfortable with. And any day that I choose to be uncomfortable, I feel amazing for that whole day. So something I wanna pass on to you is something I've been just telling myself a lot more frequently when I feel like I can't complete something during the day find time. What I actually tell myself is I will make time for this. I will find time to be able to do this today. Because again, it's so easy just to be like, ah, oh, no, I'm, I'm busy today. Uh, I didn't have time today to do that. What? Something that's been really powerful recently is being more realistic with my time, understanding how long things can actually take and all of this knowledge of time kind of build barriers on how long I expect something to take or how long something should take. Because if I was to tell myself, oh, I gotta have a perfect day in order to do something successful. I need, I need half an hour before the gym. I need two and a half hours in the gym. I need half an hour outside of the gym. I gotta have my food ready. I gotta have to stretch. I'm gonna have to do abs. I'm gonna have all this stuff prepared. And if it's not like that, am I not gonna work out? Not every day is gonna be lined up exactly how you envision it in your mind. Every day is gonna be different. And you can't plan for everything. You can't adjust your schedule to fit around everything that's gonna to happen to you. But what you can do is find time, baby. Yeah. Life is gonna hit you with those unperfect days. And it's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be easy to be like, ah, uh, maybe I won't do that today. I don't have the exact amount of time that I wanted 
to be able to do something like this. Maybe I just won't do it today. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wait till the day actually comes. That's something I find really ridiculous about New Year's resolution is because why are you going to wait until that day starts for you to actually do the things that you want to do? If you tell yourself, oh, maybe my goal is to go for an hour walk every single day, that shit's not going to be realistic because you're not going to be afforded that time every single day. So maybe try and shrink that goal down. Don't eliminate the goal, but think about it. Oh, the goal is actually, I want to walk. Does it need to be for an hour every single day? Hell no. But the most important thing is to actually go and do that. Go and complete that task. Because I feel like for me, I get really stuck inside my head being like, oh, I really want to read for an hour today. And then when I'm not just handed an hour in my day to be able to go read, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I don't think I can read today. What? Excuse me? I encourage you to do two things, baby. Try and just simplify your goal. Don't make it so complicated that you're not able to complete it every single day or however many days that you want to do it. And also be realistic with your time because it's so much harder to tell yourself I didn't have five minutes in my entire day to do the thing that I wanted to do today. Ain't that crazy? I understand. Some days you're going to be busy. That's just the way life is. But just try and remind yourself that it's easy to say I was busy. So try and look at your goal or your resolution in this way. Try and tell yourself, hey, do I have time today? Can I make time today? I will make time today. Also, another thing, try and drop them high expectations because like your life's not perfect. No day is going to be perfect and no amount of days in a row is going to be perfect for you to execute your goal consecutively like that. But if you find time every single day, then that shit might just work out. Life is not just a one step journey. You're not going to take one new direction and be like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm there. I promise, baby, if you be more realistic with your time, you're gonna enjoy your time more. Even though it's the exact same that you had yesterday, you're gonna enjoy it more.